Robert Oppenheimer, a visionary scientist and the father of the atomic bomb. On July 16, 1945, the Trinity Test, the first successful detonation of an atomic bomb, took place at the Alamogordo Bombing and Gunnery Range in New Mexico. Witnessing the powerful explosion, Oppenheimer famously quoted the line from Hindu scripture, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. J. Robert Oppenheimer, a brilliant physicist and a key figure in the development of nuclear weapons during World War II, is best known for his leadership of the Manhattan Project. He played a crucial role in the successful creation of the atomic bomb, which eventually brought an end to the war but also sparked ethical debates about the use of such devastating weapons. Beyond his contributions to nuclear physics, Oppenheimer's life was marked by academic excellence, political intrigue, and controversial associations. This biography will delve into the life and achievements of this enigmatic figure, shedding light on the profound impact he left on science and the world. Julius Robert Oppenheimer, known as J. Robert Oppenheimer or simply Oppie, was born on April 22, 1904, in New York City, USA, to a wealthy German-Jewish family. His father, Julius Oppenheimer, was a successful textile importer, while his mother, Ella Friedman, was an artist, and he was exposed to various cultural influences from an early age. Oppenheimer attended the Ethical Culture School in New York City, where his early aptitude for academics and strong interest in science became evident. At the age of 12, he discovered a passion for mineralogy and collected minerals as a hobby. His interest in science would soon expand to encompass mathematics and physics. In 1921, Oppenheimer enrolled at Harvard University, where he pursued a degree in chemistry. He displayed an exceptional intellect, and after his freshman year, shifted his focus to physics. Under the mentorship of prominent physicist Percy Bridgman, Oppenheimer flourished, and his research contributions were recognized. He completed his Bachelor of Science degree in 1925 and proceeded to study at the University of Cambridge in England, where he continued his research under the guidance of renowned physicist Paul Dirac. Upon returning to the United States in 1927, Oppenheimer earned his PhD in theoretical physics from the University of Göttingen in Germany. Subsequently, he accepted a faculty position at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. Oppenheimer's research focused on quantum mechanics, quantum field theory, and the theory of relativity. His work earned him respect within the scientific community, and he rapidly gained a reputation as a leading theoretical physicist. Throughout the 1930s, Oppenheimer published several influential papers, establishing himself as a preeminent scientist. He made significant contributions to the understanding of the behavior of electrons and positrons, and his research laid the groundwork for quantum electrodynamics. Oppenheimer's academic career flourished, and he secured a position as a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, in 1939. With the outbreak of World War II in 1939, the world became embroiled in a global conflict that prompted significant advancements in military technology. In 1942, the United States initiated the Manhattan Project, a top-secret research effort aimed at developing an atomic bomb before Nazi Germany could achieve the same feat. Due to his expertise in theoretical physics and his leadership skills, Oppenheimer was appointed as the scientific director of the Manhattan Project. He played a central role in assembling an exceptional team of scientists and engineers at Los Alamos, New Mexico, to work on the development of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer's leadership style was characterized by his ability to inspire and motivate his team. Despite the immense pressure and ethical concerns about the creation of such a destructive weapon, Oppenheimer remained committed to the project viewing it as necessary to prevent an even greater tragedy if Nazi Germany were to obtain nuclear weapons first. The first successful test of the atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity, took place on July 16, 1945, in the New Mexican desert. Witnessing the explosion, Oppenheimer famously quoted a line from Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. He knew the world would not be the same. Two people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and 
says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that, one way or another. The deployment of atomic bombs over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 brought World War II to an end, but it also led to widespread destruction and loss of civilian lives. The use of nuclear weapons raised moral and ethical questions, and Oppenheimer found himself at the center of these debates. Following the war, Oppenheimer continued his academic pursuits and became involved in public policy and scientific advisory roles. However, his political affiliations and past associations with communist sympathizers during the 1930s and 1940s came under scrutiny during the Second Red Scare of the 1950s. In 1954, a highly controversial security hearing was held to investigate Oppenheimer's loyalty to the United States. He faced accusations of being a security risk due to his past associations. Despite Oppenheimer's significant contributions to the country, his security clearance was revoked and he was effectively barred from further government service. Oppenheimer's life took a different direction after the security hearing. He returned to academia but faced isolation from his former colleagues and political pressure. Nonetheless, he remained an advocate for arms control and international cooperation to prevent nuclear proliferation. J. Robert Oppenheimer's life was a complex tapestry of scientific brilliance, ethical dilemmas, political intrigue, and personal struggles. He played a pivotal role in the development of nuclear weapons during World War II, leaving an enduring impact on the course of history. While his contributions to science were undeniable, his involvement in the Manhattan Project and the subsequent controversies surrounding his political leanings continue to shape his legacy. Oppenheimer's story serves as a reminder of the immense power and responsibility scientists hold in their pursuit of knowledge. His work on the atomic bomb reflects both the potential for scientific advancements to change the world positively and the grave consequences when such knowledge falls into the wrong hands. In the years following his death on February 18, 1967, J. Robert Oppenheimer's legacy has been re-evaluated. Many now recognize the complexity of his life and the difficult choices he faced. As the world continues to grapple with issues related to nuclear weapons and scientific responsibility, Oppenheimer's story remains a compelling and cautionary tale.